Hello everyone, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Unfortunately, with this voice recording, you know what that means, something got messed up while making this video. And for this video, as well as about four or five of the next videos coming up on my channel, I was having some issues with my phone that day and I had two separate packages come on the same day. So all those videos I filmed, some of them had some parts of it corrupted in the fact that it just stopped filming and it just showed up as a white screen and didn't capture any audio or anything like that. So for this video specifically, the outro just is gone. So thankfully, the big chunk of the video of the haul basically is intact, but I will come back at the end and do a proper outro. So just wanted to let you all know so you won't get surprised when you see like no outro. With all of that out of the way, let's get on with my very first Nyokyo haul. Hello everyone. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. I do apologize. I have my AC on because I get kind of hot sometimes. I need to have my room cold, but I'm very excited. We have a first time on this channel, a package from Neokyo. Obviously I opened this already so you don't see my address or anything. Uh, I'm very excited. I had started, I had started going through Mercari Japan in like mid-June and now it's late July, but everything's finally here. Um, just going to probably look through everything, make sure I have everything, and then go th take off anything I need to do before we continue with the video, so let's go. All right, we have quite a lot here and it's already falling apart, so that's great. <laughs> so first up in our Neokyo haul, we have the joyful vacation of Daniel X RDC here. We have the pretty much most, but not all, of the JBJ albums, uh, obviously, you know, Kim Donghan, he's my old bias, and I never really th looked into collecting JBJ, but I love their music. My Flower is like one of my favorite songs. And I saw that they were selling like complete sets of Donghan's inclusions for JBJ, like eras, on Mercari Japan. So I was like, you know what? Let's start the joyful vacation, <laughs> you know? So I don't have everything, obviously, because I don't have like the fantasy, like actual albums, but I did get some of the cards, if not all of the fantasy cards, I'm not entirely sure, uh, in this set, which only came with like inclusions. So I'm very excited. So here we have the, fantasy cards so they're kind of like lenticular the color changes in the background for these i really like these cards in this one i've always seen this one ever since i started collecting donghan they're just so pretty and then we have this card from true colors i believe i haven't been able to find like a set template that i could use to figure out what i'm missing in my jbj collection but we have these two cards which I think are from fantasy era I'm judging based off of the colors like of the um, the backs of the cards and stuff All right and we have the oh my gosh <laughs> the standee I don't know if you could see it, we have the standy thing. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with this. Gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we have the True Colors albums, which I think this is the same standy. Yeah, this is the same standy. I'm going to make a separate video uh, going through more of like the JBJ stuff so we can focus on that because we need to continue on with the rest of these collections. I don't want this video to be too, too long. Uh, what I'm going to do pretty much for the rest of this video is uh, kind of like show everything I got but I do have some albums in here and for the albums I'm not going to like fully unbox them and do a flip through. I'll make a separate video where I can go more over that 
And that way, if you have an album that you want to see specifically, you don't have to like skip through the whole video. You can just go to that own separate video and make it easier for your viewing pleasure, you know? So first up in the after all JBJ stuff, we have one of Key's face albums. This is his first main album. Uh, there is a photo card in here. It is one of the ones that I was missing and stuff, so super cool next up we have red velvet so i was very fortunate enough to find a lot of older era cards that i was missing in my irene collection so i have irene's ice cream cake card you can tell it's real it doesn't say sm town museum ah. So we have Irene's ice cream cake card. Then we have Irene's Russian roulette card. It also says not for sale. Ah, you know, it's official. There was a person who was selling like a bunch of Irene cards in Mercari Japan and I was so excited because they were selling them for super cheap and then I realized it was because they were SM Town Museum cards. If that's what you want to collect, more power to you, but I decided when I made this idea to collect Irene that I wanted to collect the official cards. So here is Irene's Russian Roulette. And then these will have their own video, or I'll do this together. We have the red and the velvet albums. I was able to find the card with the albums themselves, and it was cheaper than buying a normal album. Let's just say that. So I immediately made that purchase. Next up on the, this haul, we have Shiny. So I was able to find some of Key's older cards, which shocked me. So we have Sherlock. We have the Misconceptions of You. And everybody, I was thinking of collecting the bookmark at first, but I decided not to because I figured it would be just easier to stick with these for the collection. And then we have also his one of one inclusion, which were the circle cards that you could pop out, but I didn't want them popped out. So thankfully that's there. And I really like that inclusion. And then we have some albums. So we have both versions of Odd and they come with Key's card in it, which I will show off in their unboxing video that I'll do separate for this, along with Married to the Music, same thing with the card as well. So I'm very excited about this. All right, uh, next up in the haul, we have a Donghan's, uh, pre some of Donghan's pre-order benefits for Wii Eye. They're mainly from First Sight era because they're, those were the ones that I weren't really collecting those for uh, at the time, so it was easier for me to find them now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell in this first Make Star card, there like is a bump on it or whatever, but it's not like majorly damaged, so it's fine. So here is the card. This is when they did the Halloween thing. The backs look so beautiful. And we have two. I already got uh, the Make Star 3 card in a previous purchase I did on Instagram. So that was like in April. So I have that in the haul. And Make Star 4, I think. Yeah. Again, the backs, beautiful. Then for Challenge Era, we have. Or no, this is still first sight. I'm sorry. We have the K-pop store cards. There's only two. So here's the first one. And here is the second one. And then we have a Yeezy Who Yeezy card. This is the first one. The round two one is being sold for so expensive. Like, it is so expensive. So clearly I've not been able to find that one, but it's fine. Next up, we have some 
Irene and Sulgi cards for Monster Era. I really wanted to complete this collection and it was kind of hard for me to find more cards so I was lucky enough to find just a few of them for now. So we have this Irene card. I kind of forget what versions they are but if I look at my template I'll remember. I know this is base note for sure. We have Sulgi with the face mask. Oh here's the back. Then we have two of the unit cards. So we have the sign one. And then we have the Silky doing the heart on her cheeks. Very cute. So I'm very happy to continue this collection. I wasn't able to find any cards for uh, Hello era or like Water era that I was missing. One really nice thing about getting these packages from Nokio is that even though it might be really hard to unpack everything, there are so many good top loaders and like sleeves that I can use for trades. It's amazing. And lastly, for this haul, we have Ace. So for this, again, I'm collecting WoW. So I was able to find a lot of stuff for Butterfly Fantasy era, which was one era that I was really trying hard to find cards and complete the collection for since I had bought those albums myself. So first we have, this is probably one of my favorite cards of his, the glasses one. Oops, sorry. Then we have the Humbok one. Then we have the red vest card. We have the unit card with Dong Hoon and Byung Kwan. Then we have the ring selfie card. Then we have this white outfit one. And then I didn't realize until after I, after I purchased this, but this is one of the Make Star pre-order benefits that they had. I know that there's like an AR card, I think as well, but I don't think I'm gonna collect that. And then for Siren Dawn era, I was able to find the last Polaroid I needed. So I am done with all of WoW's Polaroids because I believe each member only has four Polaroids. So that makes 20 and then the rest of the Polaroids they have are like either group or unit ones. And I'm strictly trying to only collect like just wow stuff alone because Ace is already hard to collect as is. And then we have one of the other selfie cards that I was missing. So I think I only have now like four selfie cards, like regular photo cards that I'm missing on here, which I mean, progress is progress. And then I think for Butterfly Fantasy, I'm only missing two cards. And that was it for today's video. Unfortunately, as I said earlier, my outro got cut out while recording. So I'll put a nice little fan cam up here for your viewing pleasure while you hear me spiel about my channel. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I usually make album unboxings, photo card collection updates, storing photo cards into my binder kind of videos. Subscribe, make sure you stay tuned to make sure you know when I upload a new video, which there will be quite a few in the upcoming week. So please stay tuned for that. If you check my description, I have all my usual links such as social media, resources I found, the music I use for this video, as well as today's song recommendation, which will be Jatem by Joy. It is her, I guess, main B-side on her Hello album. It's my favorite song on the album at the moment. So I do hope you enjoy that song. It's a very nice, mellow song. It kind of gives me the vibe of like the first song you hear in a Disney princess movie, like Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. So I do hope you enjoy that. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. If you are going outside, please follow any necessary precautions you need to take in order to keep yourself and those around you safe and healthy. I wish you all the best and I will see you very, very soon with my continuation of unboxing albums from the My Neo Kyo haul. So bye for now.